All right, so we're going to go through the cell life cycle, and then we're going to go through mitosis. That's when the cell divides. So the interphase is the cell's normal every kind of day-to-day -day, uh, period of its life. So there are some day-to-day -day activities that the cell is going to do. The cell is going to make proteins. That's basically what it does. It's going to make proteins, and those proteins are going to help it to repair itself because a lot of the things inside the cell have to repair um, are made of proteins. <coughs> it's also going to produce proteins that are used if it's a specialized cell that has um, specific functions. So some cells are going to, most cells produce enzymes. Enzymes help to run the cell, keep the cell going. Um, but the other thing is some cells will produce proteins like antibodies. Those are used in immunity. Some cells produce hormones. Um, some cells... Uh, most cells are going to have proteins that act as channels and gates. So on a day-to-day -day basis, that's what the cell is doing. And then the cell gets ready to um, divide towards the end of interphase. And so when it's getting ready to divide, it's still not dividing, um, but it's preparing to divide. And when that happens, those organelles called centrioles, they replicate and um, other organelles are going to replicate. So the mitochondria replicate and the endoplasmic reticulum uh, replicate. So we start just, they start producing more and more and more of those. And then um, the DNA duplicates. So instead of having 23 pairs of chromosomes, we now have 46 pairs of chromosomes, okay? So on the interphase model, when we look at our model in class, this is what it's going to look like. It just looks like a regular cell. You don't see any of the other organelles, but you see the nucleus that has the nuclear membrane, and you see a pair of centrioles. Okay, those centrioles have already actually replicated, so there's two pairs of centrioles that we're seeing right there. So we can tell, all right, this, this cell is in interphase. And then the cell, when it's ready to divide, it's going to go through the process of mitosis. There are four stages in mitosis. We have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay? Pro mat. You just have to remember those phases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. On our models, prophase has an early and late, and anaphase has an early and late. So we're going to start and just look at prophase. Three main things happen in prophase. This is the first stage. First of all, the nuclear membrane disappears. Okay, so it just disintegrates, and it's gone. The next thing is the spindle apparatus starts to form. That's where the two pairs of centrioles migrate to opposite ends of the cell. Microtubules line up and start to look like kind of a, a, a football net in the shape of a football, but it's a big net. And then the chromosomes are now called chromatids, and remember that the chromosomes had duplicated, so we have two sets of them, the, the copies will attach to each other. And those are called sister chromatids. Okay, so now we've got chromatids instead of chromosomes. So in our model, in our lab model, we have early prophase and, and late prophase. In early prophase, we can see that the nuclear membrane is still there. So that's how we know it's early prophase. But we can see that the centrioles have migrated. They're starting to migrate, and we can start to see that spindle apparatus forming. That tells us that we're in prophase because the spindle apparatus is forming, but it also tells us it's in early prophase because the nuclear membrane is still there. Then we look at late prophase, and now those centrioles, we have one pair that migrated all the way to this end, one pair that migrated all the way to that end, and you can kind of see the um, microtubules here. This whole thing is, um, I wish they would have made it more like you could see the, the entire spindle apparatus. But you can see part of the spindle. You know that the spindle apparatus is there. And it's like a net, and all of those chromatids are caught inside like a, like a fly in a, in a um, spider web. They're just caught in that spindle apparatus. We know this is late prophase because... First of all, the spindle apparatus is formed completely, and there's no nuclear membrane. That nuclear membrane disintegrated. It's just gone. We move into the next phase then, which is called metaphase. In metaphase, now you can really see that spindle apparatus. So the two centriole pairs are on either end. Microtubules are lined up. And those microtubules are pulling on those chromatids. 
on those two chromosomes, those, the, the chromosome and its copy that are stuck together. And the, the microtubules are pulling it, pulling it, and pulling with equal force, and all of those chromatids line up in the middle of the cell. So they meet in the middle in metaphase, right? Meet in the middle in metaphase. So um, the chromatids, um, again, you know, we, we started out with 23 pairs of these, of a chromosome. And then um, we duplicated them and then attached them together. That's what a chromatid is. And so you can kind of see that uh, formation here. So this is a chromatid. You can see, you know, this is one sister chromatid. Here's another sister chromatid. Together, that's a one chromatid, okay? The chromosome and its copy, and they're lined up in the middle. The next phase, then, is anaphase, and anaphase is where um, the sister chromatids start to separate. So now the microtubules are pulling so hard away, they're trying to pull towards the opposite centrioles, that they start to pull that chromatid, the chromosome and its copy, they pull them apart. Okay, so that's what happens there. We have an early phase of that, and we're going to see that that's where the, chroma, the chromatids, the sister chromatids, are still pretty close to the middle of the cell. And then in late anaphase, those sister chromatids are closer to the centrioles. The other thing in late anaphase we start to see is the cell membrane starts to pinch in. Now, don't worry if you're not getting all this down. I am videotaping this um, lecture here. And then I will put that on to, um, I'll let you guys see that on Science Club, okay? So don't worry if you're not getting all of this down. All right, so then um, let's take a look at that. All right, so this is early anaphase. Here's a chromatid. It was pulled apart. These microtubules are pulling it apart. These are pulled apart. These are pulled apart. These are pulled apart. These are pulled apart. So they're all being pulled apart, right? So that's early anaphase. They're pretty close to the middle, and nothing is really, we don't see any pinching in or invagination of the cell membrane. Now we look at late anaphase. The chromatids are pulled further apart. They're going to keep getting pulled until they go all the way to that other side where the centrioles are. So they'll continue to get pulled apart. But now we see the cell membrane starts to pinch in a little bit. So that tells us, oh, that's getting ready for the next phase. So that's late anaphase. Okay. Then finally, we get to the last phase, which is called telophase or telophase. Um, and this is where those, those um, groups of chromosomes, um, so the chromatids down here, they, there were um, 46 pairs, um, and they got pulled apart. 23 of them went down here, and 23 of them went up here. 23 pairs went here, 23 pairs went here. And the nuclear membrane starts to form around each one of those 23 pairs. So now we have a cell with two nuclei in it. And each one of them have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Okay? The chromatids separated. Now we're just going to call them um, the chromosomes again, daughter chromosomes. Okay? So the nuclear membrane forms. And now this paracentriol are really close to this nucleus. And there's another paracentriol down here really close to that nucleus. And we see that the cell membrane starts to invaginate even more. It's pinching in even more. So that's um, telophase. And then in the last, that, that ends mitosis then. Mitosis is really just the division of the nucleus. It's not the division of the entire cell. Okay? So the last phase then is because we don't end up with just one cell with two nuclei. What happens in the next phase of life is that the cell completes cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is where that cell membrane pinched in all the way until it created two separate cells. And each cell has a brand new nucleus. Each nucleus has 23 pairs of, of chromosomes. That's what the original cell started out with, 23 pairs of chromosomes. They each have organelles. Because um, in, in interphase, when we started to, um, the cell was beginning, preparing to divide, it started to replicate all those organelles, like mitochondria, Golgi, endoplasmic reticulum, all those things. And each one has a pair of centrioles. So cytokinesis um, just splits the cell into two cells. That's, what's that, that's what it's doing. 
Now, cytokinesis actually began, if you remember, in late anaphase. So we saw it pinching in in late anaphase, and then in telophase, we started seeing it pinch in even more. And then after telophase ended, because the new nuclear membranes were formed, then we get cytokinesis um, ending where the cytoplasm completely splits into two separate cells. Okay, so that ends... Um, that ends, then, the cell life cycle in mito mitosis. Any questions on that? 